So I've done a couple videos talking about the end of the movie theater industry. This was an ongoing thing even before Beer Bug. But it's getting worse because of that situation. They're running out of money. AMC is the biggest. Uh, they've been they've been on the verge of collapse several times since they've been shut down. They did recently secure a nice loan, which is enough money for them, from what I understand, to keep operating until spring of next year, which is kind of good. However, that's just AMC. There's other movie th theater chains that you know can't get those loans. It can't. The movie theater industry can't survive on just AMC. Okay, all the other theaters need to be able to stay alive as well. And I just don't think that it's likely. Uh, the model is going to have to change. There's going to have to be an industry change. And it's already moving that way. It's already moving that way. I wanted to show this because, once again, AMC is delaying opening again. They were going to open originally in August. All kinds of movies have now had to say, okay, we're going to delay these films indefinitely. Several movies, in fact. Wonder Woman, Black Widow, Tenet, and a few others. Some platforms are just going to go, some movies are going to go straight to streaming. We're seeing it right now. Bill and Ted is the latest. They've had to change their release dates several times. And it's not just them. Like I said, Tenet, Wonder Woman, Black Widow, several other films, they've had to change their release dates as well. Several movies have just said, we're just, screw it, we're just going to go to VOD. Now, Bill and Ted 3 will likely go to drive-ins. And states that do have movie theaters open, I don't think very many do now. I'm pretty sure they've all been shut down again. So it's likely you're just going to have to watch this on video on demand. But this is just another blow to the movie industry. Because now these films have already passed. There's really no reason to put them in a movie theater. And this is why AMC has been fighting with Universal. Like the, the movie theaters in Hollywood have kind of been having a slap fight over this stuff for a while, which I think is stupid. You can't fight change. This was going to happen regardless of the pandemic or not. This is going to happen regardless. It was already happening before everything that's been going on. It's just a fact. You know, tentpole movies have been going to streaming services with Netflix and all of these streaming services. HBO Max is another example, and we're going to talk about them. All of these movies have been going to streaming platforms as exclusive for content. Riskier movies that studios didn't want to invest any money in, which really hurts movie theater chains because they rely on tentpole movies to keep them up in between you know, your big Avengers Endgame movies and so on and so on. They need those films for revenue. And those films have been decreasing in number every year. This is why I always make the point like last year or the year before that, I believe it was, it was the year of Avengers Endgame. You had what? Yeah, that was last year. You had Star Wars, Rise of Skywalker, Avengers Endgame, all of these big movies that brought in record shattering, shattering ticket sales and the movie theater industry still reported losses across the board. You need a Bill and Ted to keep your, your, your chain going. So that's why I say, you know, I just don't think you're going to be able to stop it. It was inevitable that all these movies were going to be simultaneously released in theaters and at home. As much as I like being able to sit at home and watch a movie, going to the movie theater is an experience. That's its own thing. It's, it's quite different to watch a movie on the big screen with the, you know, the, the theater setting, it's its own experience. And I would still go, but I wouldn't go as frequent. Movie theaters are going to have to figure out what they need to do to survive, how to stay profitable, what kind of extra things can they give people to show up. That's what they're going to have to work on. But eventually every movie is going to go to video on demand and streaming services. But Bill and Ted is now officially doing that. This is the latest of big movies to go to VOD. And that is going to be September 1st. This is a, you wouldn't think this is a big deal, but it kind of is because I think every movie is going to be doing this, even though they're trying to fight it. Like Tenet, 
HBO Max won't premiere Tenet even with theatrical release delayed indefinitely. I wouldn't count on that. And I know Christopher Nolan is a big deal, and he makes these studios a lot of money. And from what I understand, he's one of the reasons that they're keeping this from going straight to VOD. But even he can't stop can't stop it from happening. I think eventually they're going to release it to VOD because these people need money. They're all hurting. They're all hurting for money right now. You've got this movie sitting there. You need cash. You can release it. Those AT&T folks, they are ruthless, and I can see it happening. I see the same thing happening to Wonder Woman and Black Widow because Disney's hurting too. So I think you're going to see all these movies probably by the end of the year because they're already done and filmed and edited and ready to go from what I understand. Uh, All these films are going to be released probably on VOD streaming services by the end of the year. Now, that's a prediction and a guess. That's not a fact. So I could be wrong. Maybe they'll stick to their guns and they won't do it. But I'm not holding my breath. Especially when these formats, you know, going to streaming is profitable. Look at HBO Max. Had flawless launch. AT&T CEO John Stanky says drawing 4.1 million signups, dwarfing HBO Now engagement. This was the previous service. I've talked about this before and how confusing HBO Max was for a second because you had so many different HBO streaming services going on at the time. But it appears to be working out for them in the long run. Okay, now I don't think Tenet and Wonder Woman are going to come straight to HBO Max. I think they're going to get released video on demand first. Movies like this will will continue to get a premium $20 probably release on, you know, Amazon and so on and so on. You'll have to pay 20 bucks. And you probably won't get to keep it either. And then eventually, these will come to selective streaming services, probably a little bit earlier, probably within two months. So two months, you want to see it early, you got to pay now, and then it's going to go to HBO Max or Netflix or wherever. That's my prediction for the future on what's going to happen here. And Bill and Ted is just the latest to fall in line with this. So... I just, I think that the movie theater experience is likely done. I know for an example for me is if my movie theater closes, I'm going to have to drive like a half hour to go see a movie. I remember I asked this question in a previous video. How far do you have to go or will you have to go if your local movie theater shuts down? Some people said over an hour. Why would I drive over an hour if I can just watch it at home? You know, you're going to have to have a really big movie for me to want to go out that far for a movie. It's just the truth. So, I don't know. I just I just don't see it working out for movie theaters. I think some will survive, and they'll do what they've been doing right now, like a drive-in theater. They, they've been opening, like, select theaters. But what have they been playing? They've been, like, Ghostbusters, Jurassic Park, Jaws, old Star Wars movies, Empire Strikes Back, got re-released, pulled in tons of money. Ghostbusters pulled in tons of money. I think you're going to see like a random assortment of films played, like classic films played at these movie theaters. I think that's what's going to happen. And then, you know, once in a while, they'll have, you know, a Bill and Ted or something big play in there as well, like a simultaneous release. And that's probably what's going to happen. And the, only the strongest theaters will survive. It'll be a survival of the fittest because only the ones that figure out how to make money are obviously going to last. So anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think Tenet is going to hit theaters this year? Or or do you think they're going to wait for theaters? Do you think they're going to release it on VOD? Uh, What do you you think about Bill and Ted? Are you going to go see it in the theater? Are you going to get it on VOD? Uh, What are your thoughts on the industry in general? Also, if you would throw a like up, share the video. Make sure you still subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Pace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.